Oh, come on, put your hands together and celebrate our great leaders, Bishop Melvin Jones Sr. and the Lady Prophetess Linda Jones. Come on! Come on! Be some more this. Hallelujah! Come on! Come on! Oh, praise him. Amen. Following God's blueprint. Somebody says, following God's blueprint. If he leaves, I'm going to follow. I said, if he leaves, I'm going to follow. This is a Saturday night, and y'all sitting like quiet tonight. Hallelujah. Come on. My God, I can praise you this whole. It's been almost three months since I've been home, so I'm just glad to be home tonight. I'm going to run, get along. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Oh, bless him. Amen. Oh, bless him. We're going to try to move right along. Amen. We honor the speed of the hour. Amen. Bishop William Cox to the Christian Community Tabernacle of Prayer Church family. Come on and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Give me a praise. Amen. We honor you. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for amen. all the pastors. Amen. 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 Pastor Bobby Jackson, we thank God for you. Pastor Charles Overton, we thank God for you. Amen. Pastor Andrew Graham, we thank God for you. And to, amen. To all you, the Lord's people. Amen. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And for that, we tell him thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. The old school say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Oh, Lord.
I'll be reading in your hearing Nehemiah 2, 17 and 18. Praise God. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Praise God. Then said I unto them, ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Praise God for the reading of his holy word. Amen. Praise God, let us pray. Most holy and most wise God, we thank you for this evening, Lord. We thank you for all that you do in our life, Lord. We thank you for, you, for where you brought us from to, down unto this very moment, Lord. Oh God, we ask you right now, Lord, to bless this service, Lord, as we go forth in it, Lord. Oh God, we would ask you to bless our leaders, Lord, the one you sent over us in this house, Lord. Oh God, right now, Lord, you gave us good leaders, Lord. Right now, Lord, we ask you, Lord, sanctify them afresh, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Keep them, Lord, as they keep us, Lord. Oh God, and we won't fail to give you the glory, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless this service as we go down in it, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Bless your people, Lord, as we, right now, Lord, we worship you, Lord. And give you all the praise and all the glory that is due you, Lord. And we won't fail to give you the praise, Lord. We thank you for all that you do, Lord. We thank you for all that you've done and done, Lord. Oh, God, and we won't fail to give you the praise for what you're going to do in our future, Lord. Right now, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Oh, God, you're about to do all this pandemic and all this and that and this and that. Lord, but we say thank you even no more, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the prayer and the scripture. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will. you go you wonder where you are amen but it's a blessing amen to be able to come amen well the name of the lord is revered amen, amen. that amen that the name of the lord amen is praise amen, amen. 
Come on and give the Lord praise. Amen. Truly, we thank the Lord. Amen. For this timing of celebration. Amen. Of our leaders. Amen. And we thank God for, amen, the years of following God's blueprint. Amen. amen. And we thank amen. God for truly, amen. This is the Lord's doing. Amen. And it's marvelous in our eyes. And we just thank the Lord. Amen. At this time, we just give the Lord praise. Amen. For, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's glory to God. It's word time. Amen. Praise God. Amen. How many come expecting a word from the Lord? Amen. 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 God bless you, Elder. Ellis is coming. Amen. To introduce her father. Amen. And pastor. Amen. Put, her, put your hands together and receive her as she comes. Amen. Followed by amen. Amen. A selection from Brimpton Tabernacle. Amen. Come on. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to everyone, to give an honor to Bishop Jones, Lady Jones on tonight, and honoring you all. Amen. To the speaker, Bishop Cobb, to all of the elders, pastors, ministers, deacons, saints, and friends, to each and every one of you in the household of faith. And I do stand to introduce our speaker for tonight, which really needs no introduction. Amen. Amen. Because we're just family. Amen. It's been a long time since we've been able to come together and worship together. But we are family. So on tonight, you know, your big brother, your little brother, your little cousin, what you know, Bishop Cobb is gonna come and he's gonna bring forth the word of God. He is the pastor of the Griffin Community Tabernacle of Prayer for All People in the city of Griffin, North Carolina. Amen. Mm. Y'all, I was getting ready to say something. Whew. So he is saved, he's sanctified, he loves the Lord, he is the husband of the late Elder Annie Cobb. Amen. 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 Thank God. So, but again, accept him for his ability on tonight. Amen. For those of you that know Bishop Cobb, y'all know he's going to bring forth the word. Amen. You know he's not going to stand still. He's going to sing a little bit. He's going to preach a little bit. He's going to sing again. And then he's going to teach a little bit. So just let God have his way on tonight. But we come to celebrate and honor the man and woman of God that has labored in the gospel. Amen. The shepherd of this house. Amen. So we come to worship and to praise him. And we didn't come two and a half hours just to sit. We came to receive on tonight. We came to receive a blessing from the Lord. So I introduce to some and present to others none other than my father, Bishop William Cobb Sr. And the song coming from us. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Y'all going to help us. Amen. Amen. So whatever um, Elder Cobb Jr. played and Elder De and Brother Desmond, <laughs> we just gonna do this, amen. The splendor 
become a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice In your
I believe all my heart they love a plan that we could build on this blueprint. Come on, somebody, once again, to you, you, and you, come on, give God a praise. You hear me? Before I get started tonight, I want just to take this opportunity to thank my brother and sister in Christ for so dealing with me, sister, sister Jones. You weren't there, but God knows you're present with them. We thank God for that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yes, 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 yes. Tonight, I, I, I would be so glad to see Sister Steph tonight, my big girl, my big daughter. I used to put her off my knee. I can't do it the most. I had to put her off my knee, but you know I love her. I love you. Come on, that's my baby. That's my baby. And I know Daddy's doing it right, but I'm still standing here looking at her. Right over there. All right. <laughs> Hey man, you can't smile in God's house. Right, that's yeah. right. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to use my imagination right now just for a few moments. All right. I can see a father bulging, mother bulging, sister Carl saying, Them people are crazy down there. We ain't going back down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too good at me, baby. Oh, I tell you, come on, give the Lord another praise tonight. And yeah, I thank God for Jerusalem. Amen for the host. Speedy, I already mean a year. I've been on speedy, never know her name. 
Tracy, who in the world is Tracy? <laughs> but I got a little low. That's me, it ain't Tracy. <laughs> I thank God for hospitality for my family. Amen. Tonight, if y'all don't mind, we are celebrating tonight a leader. Amen. And I'm celebrating a young man at all the years that have been in Tabernacle and we have been knit together. I honestly say, that's my friend. Amen. 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 That's, all right. Amen. that's all right. I know, I just say, yeah, but God has missed me to be around some good people. I thank God for my late apostle, John Washington. Amen. The one man I want to whoop so bad, but I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Thank God for the late apostles, long story. I'm not calling your name for that. Because I honor those men because every now and then we have to realize where we come from Amen. and how we got here. Yeah. Amen. And don't forget the one that helped us got here. You know, right. you know how, excuse That's me, right. you know how black folks is once they leave the rabbit house and get a good house, they don't know you no more. Yeah. But I got news for you. Come on. <laughs> Keep on living. That good house might make you wish you were in that rabbit house. Uh -huh. But we forget the ones that help us, that help us got over. And I thank God for this night opportunity. It's been a while since we've been in church on a Friday, on a night. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it. But I, I pray tonight that I was sit some, and I have been a reference. So y'all have to deal with me this year. I don't left my glass. I don't left everything. But y'all pray for me tonight. Amen. All right, Amen. Y'all just pray for me tonight. Cause I got some reading. I got all these glasses. And I ain't got to worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I know y'all. I know y'all. I know. Where are he going to act? Let me say something with y'all. God is good. Yeah. And I ain't got time. In his late hours, born with silly, sick, and night from people. Because I came to the conclusion that this is an individual walk. Yes, it is. It's an individual walk. It ain't, it ain't what you do to me going to keep me out of heaven. And let, let me pause right quick to the preacher on last night. I wasn't here, but I hope I, I hope I don't mess up what you did last night. <laughs> All right. To my big brother sitting beside me, Pastor Overton, to his beautiful wife, to my role partner, which he had, Sister Graham. She's still yours, but we stole her, bro. She back here, you know. <laughs> to all the pastors tonight, Sister Overton, and man, they, I, you know what? I got to give to, to Pastor Overton and, and Sister Overton and all the men. I said, I'm being, I'm being Greenberg. He said, what? I said, I'm going to be in Greenberg. Don't, don't be surprised. You don't see me. <laughs> and I tell you, we have, we have learned. I'm telling you, the Coastal District, I tell you, I just thank God for the pastors. But, you know, I thank God for them. And when I met them some years ago, I said to me, I said, listen, I'm going to say this with you right quick, I'm going to be fast. I said, I'm, a, I'm trying to make an end. I ain't got time to try to be big shot, this shot. Come on, let's do the thing together. Amen. Because when, one, when, when God smiles on, he smiles on all of us. Amen. And when God blesses one, he's going to bless all of us. Amen. If God don't bless you, don't get mad with me, get mad with God. Because God has no respect to a person. Amen. Come on, say amen. amen. And so when, when God begins to deal with us in general and, and, and like that, we have to always give it back to him. That's give right. it back to God. Because That's you never know what the mark. I, I never dreamed that I would come to Greenberg and walk. I'm like, I'm like the play, play with the George Jeff. They don't overcame. They ain't told me yet. I'm walking up the stairs. I got to pull my shoes off. I mean, come on, man. We don't care. God has blessed us and we sat back. Excuse my expression. We sat back and looked like we owe somebody something. Baby, we don't came from the cotton patch to the outhouse with no shoes and right? And when we come to church, we look down like we so dignified. Negro, put your hands together and give God a praise in this place. <laughs> Woo! May pop, no pop, but we made it. Now we gonna sit down like, like we all let them go. Happy Jesus! <laughs> we gonna be celebrating tonight. And without this young man, we wouldn't be here. I remember my, my first message with y'all, and that was a little bitty thing. Okay. Three little pigs, they, they never get that message. <laughs> we huffed and we puffed, and God knows that I'm going to blow that down. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, y'all, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I just had to get it off my chest. Y'all looking at me like, what is he going to do tonight? Let me share this with y'all. God is good. Yes, he is. And then we keep, I'm living to live again. Yeah. I'm living to live again. Come on, say amen. I'm, I'm going to try my best tonight. Angela, preachers, I left my glasses home. So y'all get your Bibles. I hear the strip. Y'all have to read it. I was, in this, I was in this beautiful place a few minutes ago. And I was getting my notes. Man, I'm going to walk around here like, oh, Lord, what in the world got me at? And I walked right out of the house and left my glasses. And I said, well, 
Maybe I couldn't call the word right now, so God knows it's doing. But if you don't mind tonight, if you don't mind, turn with me to the script that was read tonight. Nehemiah. And before we go to the scriptures, look at him and say, neighbor. 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 Do unto others as you will have them to do unto you. And tonight, I'm going to give God all he got. I'm going to give him all I can. Because tomorrow might be another day. But while I got a chance, I'm going to give him all I got. Come on, somebody. I ain't got time to look at you. No, you know, come on, I ain't got all of that. But you know what? We don't been through so much, Pastor. And everything we've been through, God brought us out. Amen. I don't care how bad it got. God still brought us out. I don't care how people try to ridicule you and lie on you and kick you to the curb. God still brought us out. Amen. And you know how he brought us out? Because he gave us a solid blueprint. Yeah. If we live by the blueprint with God has given us, yeah. Yes, yeah, we will live by the blueprint what God has given us. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And don't throw rail for rail. When they throw a rail, throw them back throw them from love. If they give you a hot dog, throw them back a steak. Let them know don't throw rail for rail. Because we live in the same church. And the devil's in the church. He's trying to show us. Trying to turn us against each other. Time out for that. Follow the blueprint. Hold with doubt, which no man shall see the Lord. And with that be holding doubt, go with one big word. Love your neighbor as thyself. And all men should know that you are my disciples. Because we show that love one to another. Now reach back. Don't be like Egypt. Don't be like the one that fall behind Moses. Learn from them. I don't want to see the promised land. I want to walk in the promised land. Walk in the promised land. We got to get back to holiness. We got to get back to full stopping. Hand tapping. Come on, somebody. Tom talking. Come on here. You can't do that with hatred in the church. We can't do that with one by another. We got to find a blueprint. Is I'm upset because they lied on me? No. Is I'm upset because they don't like me? No. You know why? I'm following the blueprint. Love thy enemy. Love them. We going to help. We can't get on down here. You might be going to eight, but it ain't gonna be help. Please. Let me get back here. Angel, Angel, that ain't got any glasses. Let me, can I do this here right quick? Uh, I'm, I'm going to get out of your way. Let me do this. Let me, let me. Oh, my God. Nehemiah 6, 6, 17, and 18. Wait, I'm going to try now. I'm going to try, but I'm going to need your help because God knows. But listen here. I, I, this is the part I like. I told you. Everyone stand to your feet. Be a part of this with me tonight. Be a part of this with me tonight. Come on. Then that way well, you can't say I'm talking about you. We're talking about each other. If it hits you, I'm talking about you. If it don't hit you, I'm talking about you. Come on. I just said it. That don't make sense, Pascal. If it hit you, you heard it. If it didn't hit you, you didn't hear it. So I'm still talking about you. Are you with me tonight? Are y'all with me now? Okay, I'm just going to wait a minute. Wait a minute. Near my 2 and 17. Are y'all with me? Amen. Everybody together. Then said, are y'all with me? One, two, three. Then said, everybody. Then said I unto them. Come on. Ye see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lay at waste. And the gates thereof are Come on. with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem. 
that we be no more approached. Okay, hold it, hold it. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was given unto me, as also the king words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So that what? So they were strengthening. Are you with me? Yes. Their hands for a what? A good, good work. work. It's good work. Come on, good work. Good work. I hear that might need you. I might need you. Y'all might be seen. You got my mind. Glory. Glory. Following. Hallelujah. Oh, I looked at this thing and looked at this thing following the blueprints of God. Yes. And when I got to Tracy House, this afternoon I had to do my notes all over again. Of what I had played with me, you know, played with my <laughs> But then, Nehemiah had a problem because the walls of Jer Jer Jerusalem was torn down. But also, if you read it up around the second, third verse, you find out why he had a problem so bad. It's because the part where his father was buried in this city. And the city was going to waste. And so, he went to the king first, and the king said, are you troubled? Why are you black, you sick? I mean, and, and you're not sick. You know, y'all follow me, I'm yes. okay. And he said, no, 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 I'm not sick or like that. But I'm sorry because what is happening in Jerusalem. Yeah. My God. Because the city blocked away, and it is destroyed, and my dad is there. But there's no one there. No one was thinking about Jerusalem. Yeah. Paul's now. Right. Paul right there, right there. Right now, the tabernacle of prayer for all people. First, uh, all the churches in the world, they're here today for such in Christ. Yes, there's some crooks. Yes, there is. Yeah. There's some good ones. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. But God, the Bible says, for me to call what few are chosen. Yeah. And a lot of them not built on the blueprint. Right. I did not get the tabernacle by myself. Now, y'all might call me Bishop Carr, but let me explain something to you. When I was born, my name was William Carr. Right, come on. Are you with me now? Come on, Bishop. And back in the day, old man, they gave us a nickname. They don't tell you my nickname, but I was born with William Carr. Are yeah. you with me now? Yeah. And when I got saved, they gave me another name. Uh, they started calling me Brother William Carr. Yeah. Are y'all with me here now? Yeah. In other words, I'm still William Carr. But I'm brother Will Cox. Come on but God made me different from you. Yes, and he made me different from you. Yes, but all of us in one puzzle. And it worked together. Yes, and the blueprint on his hand, who are you? Do you know? I know who I am. Are you with me here now? Yes. Before I got saved, I want to know about it. I was messed up. But God put a plant in my life. Yes, and that plant was Johnny L. Washington. Yes. He preached the pure hell out of me. Scared me so bad that I wanted to whoop him. But through whooping him, the word whooped me better. Because he stayed with the blueprint. He then he followed the blueprint that God gave him. Are y'all with me here now? Now I'm not all of a sudden I went from Brother Cobb. And then I found faith under the leadership of another great man by the name of Apostle Lawrence Bocher. And through that he was then to call me Elder Cobb. And from Elder Cobb, I became Pastor Cobb. Yes. But yes, sir, I'm still William. Are y'all with me here now? Yes. I'm still brother. Right. Are y'all with me here now? Yes. I'm still Pastor Cobb. Yes. Am I with me now? Yes. But I'm still just like you. I'm trying to make heaven my home. Yes. Are y'all with me here now? Yes. So I can't leave the blueprint and think I'm better than anybody else. Because I got two pairs of shoes now. And I got three suits. And I got a half a tank of gas. And a half a lonely sandwich. So don't you think you know better than I am. Because you got to go to the same rack of it's still holy or it's still here. So Jeremiah was upset. I might twist this around here now. And I might turn a little bit, Pastor Joe. But it's time for us to go back to Jerusalem. It's time for us to go back to Jerusalem. What's it mean, Pastor Cobb? We need to go back to the old landmark. Fast and pray and land it, oh God. We need to get back on the blueprint of God. Somebody say amen. Then he said, he kept it to himself. You're 
back up ahead of myself. Now y'all got to follow still in two. Oh. Ain't gonna lead two. I'm All still right. in chapter two. Yeah. Round where I was birthed by six or seven round. Y'all can find it. That's right. And so the Bible said that he went to the king. Yeah. He went to the king and the king said, Are you trouble? Uh -huh. He said, I want to do it the right way. Yes. He said, Give me a piece of paper. Uh -huh. Give me something that goes when I go into town, I'm leaving. Yeah. You know what's so wrong with us today? As me and women of God preach, yeah, I'm talking about y'all. You know what's wrong with us? Yes, God calls us. I believe it. Some of us do. But one thing about you know he calls, you got to wait. That's why. Right. You still got to wait. Yeah. When mama spit me out in 1948, she didn't give me a chicken bone. She gave me a milk box. Yeah. Go back to the Bible. He said, we don't desire no bone right now. We need to be milk. Some of us old folk, young folk, we need to go back to the blueprint. We need to go back to the old landmark. We need to get back on our knees, saints. So the Bible said he went to the king, and the king gave him petition. But what he did was, because the king saw that he was trouble, his mind was to build the walls of Jerusalem. Now, I don't know about y'all, I'm old school, but I look at the church today, and I say to myself, what's going on uh -huh. with the church today? Uh -huh. what, 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 what's going on here now? Uh -huh. I looked at the football game. You couldn't get in. They got a concert going on over the street today. Yeah. They got homecoming coming in here. It's so packed out, you can't get in. But when you go by the church, you can throw a brick. And everything you see is in the church. Well, what happened now? We don't got so carried away that we put, listen, the football ain't going to make it in hell. The gospel comes to a good thing they say in gospel. But the Bible tells us when it's time to be in the house of prayer, fail not to simmer yourself together, but we can give God the praise. We better get back off of this Instagram. We better get back off of Instagram. We better get back on our knee ground. Come back to the house of God and begin to give God praise. So what I'm doing tonight is about right with you. I'm too old, I'm too old and stupid to go back. Cause they ain't got no sense. So why should you go back? I can't hear myself. I'm building a wall. They ain't got time to come down. I ain't got time to come down and mess with y'all. It's so much work to be done. Can I get a praise in the house? Let me let me finish it. Y'all sit down with me, y'all. Y'all don't mess me up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then, if you read back up with me, around about verses 9 and 12. Oh, the second ten, the second Thessalonians. Where you at? Are you with me? Look at verse eleven. Are you with me now? Read for me. Nehemiah two and eleven. Come on, for me. So I came to Jerusalem, Come on. and it was and it was there three days, and I arose in the night. I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in back, my heart back, to do. Back up and read that for me again. Now after the king had given the decree, he went to Jerusalem. You see what I'm saying? He just didn't say, run there. He went. But he looked around, y'all. And uh, he said, well, I ain't going to tell nobody what's going on right now. Because right. I found out when God is dealing with you, everybody's not for you. Yes. Yes. Everybody says, Lord, I love you. They ain't for you, baby. Lord, I pat you on the back. I love you. But honey, they ain't for you. Can I prove it? Can I prove it? What was that guy named that walked with Jesus? Put his heads in his bosom uh -huh. and looked him dead in the face. The Lord is in me. Uh -huh. And God looked and said, What do I do? Do it quickly. Jesus right. was laying in the arms of Jesus. He walked with Jesus, but he was not with Jesus. Right. Are y'all with me here now? Yeah. So, in the, and sometimes you're doing things in the church, you can't even take your children. You can't even tell your wife. You got to wait till God move. And when God move, you know the blueprint is in force. And I got news for you. I got, I don't care, hell come behind water. When God is for you, and God gives you the plan, and God is with you, read for me, baby. Y'all get ahead of myself. I'm messing up. Back up. Read that for me again. Verse 12. And I arose in the night. He got up. I and some few men with me. Took a few with me. You don't need a house full of honey to do that. We started out some years ago. Church packed out. Packed out every night. Had to stand by the heater to get warm. Right church so ragged you can look out the ceiling. Even the dogs didn't want to come in there. But we still gave God praise. But as soon as God gave me a plan, let's build the house of God. See, y'all might look at the pastors because we look at neat tonight. But if y'all can look behind the scars, y'all look at the pastor cheering. 
that ain't nothing. If y'all look behind the scars, if the pastor kids would get together and tell some of the things that y'all have put them through, y'all would say, well, not me, but wake up, baby. Be careful what you sow, because payback is a blip. What you sow is coming back again. Are y'all with me here now? So you can't tell everybody what you're doing. But what happened with this young husband? After he got permission from the king, he went to the city. That wasn't good enough for him. Pastor told me I could go to Brooklyn. But I went to my pastor. But I had to wait a little minute. I found out, you know what I need to do? Sometimes you better get on your knees and pray. When some of y'all get mad, you better pray, baby. You might want to say, Lord, I can eat the dish he lay on. And after you're married, you say, Lord, I wish I could beat the dish you were eating out of. Somebody thought you didn't put God first. Look how y'all look at me. Somebody said, somebody said, follow the blueprint. I ain't gonna leave, I ain't gonna leave my message. And so what happened was, when he got there, for the three days, what happened at the church, pastor, pastor, they stopped praying down. They, they don't want to do that no more. Pastor do it. Grass need to be cut. Pastor do it. Bill need to be paid. Pastor do it. Probably need to what he got first native for. What's what y'all job? Come on, we need to get back loving God like we used to. There was a time when we get to church, we beat the preacher him. Because we didn't have nothing. But he went and began to pray. He prayed for three days. Are you with me? Are you with me now? Read on for me, baby. He prayed with the, I'm just about there. Now don't y'all get comfortable. Read on for me. Neither told I any man what my God did. Didn't tell nobody what God was going to do. Take it from experience. I stood up in Little Brooklyn Tabernacle some years ago. And I said, we're going to build us a church. I'm tired of this raggedy building. Pastor John, you might be in the same way. Because I remember the first little church we went to. And I remember the second. You know what? We did the same thing. I remember that first little raggedy church I went to. And I remember the second one. But God bless us now. Come on, somebody. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Don't tell on me, please. I remember, I remember we used to stay behind the healer. I'll be preaching to people out there saying, I'll get away from the heat. That is cold in here. But then I told my vision with my crazy self. I told my vision. I should have did like Joshua. Near my, I should have kept my big mouth closed. But I told my vision. Sunday morning I had a packed out church. Sunday night I had four. Oh, uh -oh. Four. Y'all see Martin? I ain't said fifth four. I said four. And the one that tried to tear up my church was the one that sat right beside me every Sunday. But my heart was hurt. But guess what I did? I went down to the church and I had a little talk with Jesus. And I said, Lord, did you call me? Lord, did you call me? Be careful what you pray for. I said, Lord, get these devils around me. Get them out. Clean them out. Be careful what you pray for. I went to church Sunday morning. My church was packed out. I went to church Sunday night, I had four. There was a lot of devils in my church. Come on, somebody here. But then I questioned God. God, what you want me to do? Take those four and build my church. Come on, stay on the God. I'm talking from his spirit. Now what about it? Told me. I'm thinking what happened. So he prayed. Are you with me now? Look at verse 12. Are you with me, answer? And I what? Neither was there any beast with me. In other words, I wrote upon. Hold on, hold on right there. Can I make y'all understand what I'm saying? In other words, when Pastor Joan came down here and walked around the church, he didn't see no tractors. He didn't see no bulldozers. When I went to Brooklyn some years ago and walked around the church, I saw all this field. They had nothing to do. They had no kind of bulldozer. They knew what I was going to do. But I was following God's blueprint. Come on, somebody, how y'all looking at me? Because when God is for you, you while you trying to figure it out, God already got it worked out. So the only thing we got to do is wait on God. And you know why I can wait on God? Because God put three, two good men before me. I saw two great men come out of a little storefront church, and I saw them build big churches. And I said, Lord, you can do it for them. Sir, I follow them. Listen, I have been faithful to those men of God. God, if you call me, you promise you will not make me ashamed. And God proved himself. You and you stay with God. Someone said, well, Pastor, I got saved now. Everything going to be all right. Ain't the devil ain't going to mess with no more. I got the devil on my foot. Oh, you stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> When you accept God as your personal savior, all them guys I used to drink with, 
all the little lady I used to run, run with, all that booze I used to drink. Now they see me, I don't drink no more. Now they see me, I don't party no more. Now the devil don't got mad, but some of the ones that follow me to the juke joint, now they follow me to the church. So the devil don't put every demon in hell, and he's coming out of the church, because he don't want us to make it. Somebody say amen here. But we didn't see nothing to work with. And the only thing he saw was the mule, the donkey, the mule that he was riding. In other words, he didn't see nothing to pull no tumble. He didn't see nothing in the work to help him with the work. But guess what? He was trying to figure out. God already had it worked out. Read on for me. And I'm just about there. I'm feeling I'm about close, y'all. Y'all don't work me now. Y'all don't work my heart. Read on. I'm about there. Verse 13. Come on, come on. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley. In other words, scope it out. I'm not no business came in here and scoped out this place. Look around and say, mm, this need to be done. Mm, this need to be done. Now y'all looking at me. Uh -huh. mm. well, we could do this here. <laughs> no, no, no offense, Sister John. Sister John said, Lord, my, my baby going to spend all my money. He got his mind on that thing. Come on, I know, I know, I know how you come on. But then, but then he said to her, don't worry about it, baby. When the Lord bless me, I'm going to bless you. Just stay with me here. But he looked and he scoped it out. He know what needs to be built. <laughs> he know what needs to be done. Then God said, now I need some help. So what I did, I had them four people that were with me. And they said, Bishop, what you going to do? Pastor, what you going to do? I said, God told us to build a church. Now we're going to build a church. No doubt Pastor Jones said the same thing. Read on now. Read on. I mean, look what happened. Even, read, read before the, even before the dragon well come came on. to the duck port and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, come on. which were broken down and, and the gate thereof was consumed it's got, with fire. It's got to be fixed back. It's, it's got to go back now, y'all. No, we, we got the building, Pastor. But what's missing? Junior, help me out. What's missing? Hand tapping. That's what's missing. The foot stomping. <laughs> we don't come to church now to see who's in the church. Come on now. We come to church when we enter to the gate with a praise on our mouth. God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what he did? Now he decided, oh, I got something to do. Well, yeah, baby, read for me just about then. Verse 14. Come on. Then I went. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain. Come on. And to the king's pool. Come but on. But there was no place for the I beast looked. that was under me to pass. I looked. Oh, no, John deal there. You walk down here and you said, Lord, why had this man trying to sell me? What's going on with him? Not in these woods. Why this man trying to sell me? I don't see no tractor. Grass need to be cut. Dinner need to be painted. I don't see what's known to be done. But all of a sudden, God's supposed to say, hey, I gave you the blueprint. All you do is stand still. Stand still. And I do the rest. But we can't see it. We can't see it, Pastor Over. But God saw it. So I, ain't, I don't see no junkies on the junkie. I see the one I'm driving. And I ain't got no place for him to lay his head. God said, you don't need you. you, you. <laughs> Listen, you just, just do what I tell you. And so when God begins to deal, read on, I'm just about there. I don't lose my thought. Go ahead, son. Then went I up in the night by the brook Come on. and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. Stop right there. After he viewed it, he went back to the walls and he looked at it. Now, pause right quick. After I view the churches now, mm -hmm. especially the one I live in, that's the one that God gave me. God can't make me make nobody live right. That's it. But guess what? Yeah. He can make me stand on the word. Come on. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what I find about yeah. church folks? I'm saying church folks now. I call y'all saints later, right? I'm going to call you church folks. I find if church folks really got the word in them, we ain't going to have no problem. That's no right. problem. Because you don't obey God's word. That's Even if the donkey ain't right. What me, what me? Some of y'all got y'all, some y'all didn't get dunked in sense. What do you mean, Pastor God? 
God told them to don't go with those men. Don't follow those men. Don't go. 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 Don't and God told him not to go. That's why so many people are falling today. That's why people can't stand today. God told them not to go. But they're going to prove you that I'm God. I don't need you. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 but when you stay on, follow people right. And the angel, God said, look at this dumb man. Shut the angel. Shut the angel. Who yes, angel standing with his soul. He ain't thinking about it. Yeah. All he thinking about the seven gold he's gonna get. Yeah. But he's gonna go to hell, but he didn't know it. But the donkey had more sense than he did. That's right. That's the story. That's the story. So if God can use a donkey, I ain't calling y'all donkey. What wrong with y'all? <laughs> Why we can't follow God's word? Why we can't be obedient to the blueprint? Holy with God, with no man shall see the Lord. You preaching, you preaching, you preaching. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm to draw back his soul. Got up in the cave where he couldn't miss him. And he's been there, wiped off his head. But those donkeys said, oh, no. Those donkeys fell down. Fell on old belly. Then a little stupid thing started fussing at the mule. Why you follow me, you dumb thing? And this is the part I can't understand. The Duchess spoke and said, why you beat me the way you do? The Duchess, if the Duchess spoke to me, good God of mine. But sin will blind you. You can't see the hand of God. Miss O'Keefe will blind you. Hatred will blind you. Feminism will blind you. I had that done and said, why you beat me? Haven't I served you well? Haven't I carried you where you want to go? He said, you hurt me. Then God opened the eyes of the dumb man and he saw the angel with his sword draw back. Just like some of us. I know it hurt, Pastor. A lot of people you have blessed. Share the blueprint with Share the plan of God with Got good jobs. Making good money. I don't need you no more. Amen. I'm going over here with first African patch over our dope beach. I ain't got to live like that no more. I ain't got to go in there looking like this. My dress is dragging the flow. My hair. Uh, 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 uh. Go back to the Bible. Dress is becoming modern, pal. You supposed to look good. You supposed to smell good. Why? We are ambassadors of Jesus Christ. So. Did I lose my thought? See, sometimes you don't see the hurt. I know what I say. You don't see the hurt with the kids. Sometimes I listen to my kids talk. Sometimes I say, did they do that to y'all? And then they say, shut up, daddy. You know how they did you? I had to smile. You know what I said? But look what God did for us. Come on. Come on. I'm just about there. I'm going to close. I'm just about there. But let me get this point across. I'm, I'm just going to In the word, let me, let me tell y'all something. We ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't, we ain't seen nothing yet. Of course, Revelation, we ain't seen nothing yet. Y'all y'all scared of COVID and all that kind of thing. I'm, I'm common sense. I ain't stupid now. Don't you look at me like that. I ain't gonna stick my, I ain't gonna go in there and grab this lady shoe like Mel when I know she got COVID. I ain't no, 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 no. Get back. Look at me like that. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I feel good. You know what? What's wrong with us today? What's wrong with us today? Laughter make you look at yourself. Laughter bring out why? Because sometimes we think we all got it made. We think we got it made with what my, my children say, a bag of crystal, a bag of potato chips. You can hang around you, you have no potato chips. You can have a bag, or he's gonna eat them all. <laughs> Come on, say amen. But it's the thing that people put you through with. The thing, the tears that you shed, the time that we cried, the time we talked to each other. But if you look back now, 
And the same one that say you'll never make it. They got the smile and said, look, God am I. And then we go back to the word. The word said, I'll prepare a table for your enemies. I want them to see where I brought you from. I want them to see how good you look. Because you stay with the blueprint. You didn't turn from that. When they were criticizing, you stayed right there. And you said, Lord, when my time comes, I'm going to shine. And God, the angel got you. Let me close. Y'all sit back there. Let me close. Let me close. Let me close. Let me close. Just about there. Now, after his song, all of this, yeah. Then he began to, come on, what the man of God do? As he scoped out everything, he kept it to himself. Read on for me. Verse 16. There we go. And the rulers knew not whether I went or what I did. In other words, sometimes, born again believers, when God do so, you don't let other people know what you're doing. That's right. Don't let them lift your right hand. Yeah. Your left hand know. And I tell you this into the church. Let me get back with y'all to see me. I know I'm shocked. But let me tell it to you, and I mean it from the depth of my heart. When people started talking about you, I walk away. <coughs> when they started talking, conversation people have, when they change the conversation, they're talking about people, I walk away. Yeah. You know why I walk away? Because that same dog that bring a bone, that same dog will carry a bone. And he'll take your words and twist it around, and you ain't saying or did nothing. But it's your fault for sitting there and listening to him. Ain't no garbage train, no more garbage truck. So don't bring your garbage to me. You know what? God has been too good to me. Read on. I, I, I had to throw that nugget in. Go right here. We're here crying. Saints of God crying. Crying. They hurt my feelings good. <laughs> they talking about me. Hallelujah. All right now. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> they say you won't be there. You're going to be a drunk rest of your life. God told Johnny Walker, get back. Rico, you don't belong here no more. James Brown, Sam Cook, get out of those feet. Let me get a hold of those child back. God got to take nothing. Just hang around and make something out. against you. You are blessed. Blessed are you when they crucify you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. You are blessed when they talk about you. God following God's blueprint. Come on and help that out. Neither had I yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor the rulers, nor the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them. Hold right there. Hold your finger right there. When things got so bad in 99, boy, I was an upset little preacher. I'm the boy, I'm the chaplain of the board of elder 27 churches. Now I ain't got a church. What them tore up my church? Then I'm down here. Scraping it. One of the deacons said to me, you ain't got no business laying on the ground. I said, hey, you lay on the ground to fix the little raggedy car. I lay on the ground to fix my church. Okay. Every time I do for the church, you ain't got no business doing this. But then God began to speak to me. And I'm going to say, no, 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 no. And I said his hand, I said it with love. God spoke to me. He said, William. He said, no, I'm Lord spoke to me. He said, William, don't you rent no church. Go back and sit beside your pastor till I finish this work. Church will tow up. What all over my church? I'm in a rent a church. God spoke to my heart and said, you don't rent no church. You got a church. Go back and sit beside your pastor. Pastor Lawrence Boucher. Yes. I said, Pastor, I ain't rent no church. I'm going to be with you until God finish our church. And he said to me, that's where you supposed to be. Right beside me. And he tried me too. No offense. The first night he said, I want everybody to give me $100. I said, what? 
a hundred dollars. Ain't got no church. He had him a hundred dollars. No, 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 don't go away. I was sitting on the pulpit. We ain't got but one hundred dollars. I'm saying like, no, no, not my hundred dollars. He turned and looked right at me. Said a hundred dollars. I didn't give it to him. I threw it in the back. All in God's blueprint. But that hundred dollars hurt me. Ain't got no church. And all the members were handful of hands were like, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. But God spoke. I didn't tell you about what God says. Set the sign of apostle until I finish your church. I gave the hundred dollars a pastor. I'll be him. Went on my job that next door. Went to job next door. I got a phone call. You got to mind who you fought. There was a white man in Brooklyn with a long ponytail. Me and that ponytail couldn't make it. White man is long ponytail. And then the, day, the church came in and read a lot of the church, they think gave me $5,000. Mm. I said, mm, $5,000 will help me to build this church. And then y'all said, if you open your mouth, the Lord will speak for you. Let me tell you something. When you're in God's will, when you open your mouth, God will speak for you. Yes, the guy said, I got $5,000 for you. And I said to him, if it's all right with you, could you put it in the bank? Uh, give it to someone to make sure that the material will be bought for my church. He said, little Willie. He said, why would you do that? I said, because number one, I want my church put back together. And I know my people in my church in the community. If I bought one pair of shoes or a new shirt, the first thing that came out of them Negro mouth was he took that money they put a new shirt. Look at him. Buy him a brand new shirt. Got him a brand new pair of shoes. I'm sorry, y'all. And he said, what? I said, I want my church. He said, little Willie, be careful. The same man I had a problem with, with the ponytail. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's coming to that same man, Billy, in Brooklyn. So he goes to Billy. I'm going to open up your church account. And everything that goes in your church, Billy going to pay for it. I said, what? I went back to the tavern and I said, Pastor! $5,000 in my bank account. Don't worry about it. We're going to throw a service. Pastor, the churches came together. He gave me another $5,000. i am sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm I forgot I'm a bishop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me apologize. Let me apologize. I know I thought I was deep, but wish they buried me. Then I ain't deep. But right now, let me be with you. Okay. All right. I hope. I hope. And I said, I said, Pastor, we got $10,000. And he said, what do you got? Put that in the bank account. I looked at my little church. I said, $10,000 might get me started. Follow God's blueprint. I went on my job that, that Monday morning, and I got a phone call from Holly Springfield Baptist Church. And they called me and said, we'd like to speak to little, uh, Pastor William Carr. And I walked in there. I said, Kenny, I said, I'm going to have to leave about 12 o'clock because somebody wanted to meet me at my church to help me with my church. And those same people that I had a problem with were the same people that helped me. Yeah. And with none of them black either. All of them was white beside my church. Now, it was me. And so I walked into the building and said, Mr. Possible to meet you. Long story short. And my supervisor gonna get on no, no, rub out his little fella. I looked at him and smiled. I said, Kenny, I said, at 12 o'clock, I'm going to tell him like a prayer for all people in Brooklyn. If you don't like it, take it from my sick leave, take it from my personal leave, take it from my annual leave, take it from you want. But at 12 o'clock, I'm walking through that gate. I'm going to my church. 12 o'clock, I went. Those people met me, walked around my church, 
asked what kind of salary I did. I told him none. How many members I got? I told him that. He said, uh, uh, how do you? I said, I work. I work for the state of North Carolina. Blah, 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 blah. And he walked all around the church. He said, look, little Willie. He said, I got one problem. I said, what's the problem? That sign. I said, what's wrong with my sign? He said, Grissom Community Tabernacle Prayer for all people. I said, what? He said, Grissom Community Tabernacle Prayer for all people. I said, but ain't no prayers in my bone. I said, the church was black, white, metal, you name it. I don't care as long as it goes with the girl at He said, what? I said, man, I ain't got no prejudice in my bone. That's it. Cause I said, all blood is red. Yeah. He said, I'm going to help you. You know what I told him? Oh, I've heard that so many times. I was home watching WWF. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show right there. That's the show right there. Yeah, I was watching Rick Flair and them lying. They knew what I The phone rang. Guess who it was? Pastor Parson. He said, little Will, we're going to help you. I said, what? He said, we're going to help you. Don't my church, let's say, we're going to help you. He said, meet me at the church. I walked down to the church. This is how I do them. Thank God for this for dumb people. You know, you take the foolish right the while. We all want the foolish one to confirm the while. Anyway, you know what? They got down to the church. He said, little way, we want to help you. He said, do me a favor. We want to adopt your church. Whoa, wait a minute here now. You do what? We want to adopt your church. Man, I don't want too hard for the church. He said, no, 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 no. It ain't like that. We want to adopt your church like you're going to be our little brother. You're going to give up a mission to come in your church and put it back together. Wow. I said, what? He said, we want to get a mission from you. To put our church back together. That's what I had to do. He didn't tell me okay. I said, okay, get to work. <laughs> okay. And I didn't tell nobody. That's it. I didn't tell nobody. I went that verse. I didn't tell nobody. Only one I shared with my pastor. That's it. Pastor Lawrence Bowles. That's the only one I shared with him. Yes. Every Sunday I would say, we getting saved a little bit looking like. We getting confident looking at me like. I remember that and said, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you got to keep your secret to yourself. That's right. But when God finished with it, y'all seen it, when God finished with it. Yeah. The young man came in a dick and shoot, came into the church, and he said to, with my pastor standing beside my side, he said, you know why we want to help little Willie? He said, why? Because he wanted to be helped. Wow. When you follow God's plan, don't be Spent twenty-seven thousand dollars in our church, oh, and the only thing we had to do was buy it down. And the book of the put is in Crystal right today. Following God's plan. Yeah. Come on, now let me close. Now let me close. I'm closing now. I ain't gonna bother you, but let me let me get this point. And I'm gonna close. Come on and read really something. I'm closing. Ye see the distress that we are in. How Jerusalem lieth waste. He see all the stress that you are going through. And the gates thereof are burned with the and are burned with fire. And right now the devil throwing everything he can at us. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem. Now God, listen to me now. Can I? I'm, I'm gonna paraphrase now. Paraphrase to bring out some of the truth. God got the house of Jerusalem built, but now what it needs is God to build us back up. Yes. We need to come back where we first came from. We need to come back with fasting and praying and seeking the face of God. We need to come back. To that one hour prayer. We used to pray every for every service we prayed. Now I got I had to I had to put a hundred dollar bill on the door to get somebody there to pray. Once upon a time we would knock the door down to get there to pray. But now we are We need to come back to the old landmark. Yeah. Come on, we need. I'm, I'm serious now. Come on, I'm about there. One more verse. I'm gonna close. I promise, Aretha. Then I told them of the then I told them which was good upon me. Then we told them, Pastor Jones. After you finished the house, you told the people, you know what the people did? They had a bind to work. They rolled up their sleeves and went to work. They didn't have time for criticizing. They didn't have time for people talking about them. They, they, they went to work. Now, by us going to work, this is the part that the church don't see, y'all. When God built, when God built the house, it ain't money that blesses you. It ain't all it ain't money. Why I was above all things that you shall prosper and be in good health, even as your soul shall prosper. Why why do I got a thousand dollars in my pocket and I can't tie my own shoes? 
what I'm doing with a million dollar, hundred thousand dollar car in the front of y'all, and I gotta get somebody to buy driver for me. When we stay with God, stay with the blueprint of God, stay with Holy Church, we got to get back to Holy Ness. We need to get back. I'm not saying who will backslide, but you know what? The message is not to the sinners. The message is to the church. Amen. God is coming back for the church. Amen. If I can sit here and speak, and I'm not picking at nobody, if I can feel the pain of the, the the Sister Joan, if I can feel the pain of Angela, if I can feel the pain of Junior, or even D.D. the church kids, if I can feel the pain what some of the church people have put our kids through. But this is one thing y'all don't see. Yes. Our children can sing a song that the angels can't sing. Amen. I've been redeemed. We went through hardship. Everything they throw at us. Brother John. So glad I know. We got to get the praise. So glad I know. That's why God bless them so. I've been redeemed. The angels can't say that. But we got to get back. I've been redeemed. Everything that we're going through, Texas is our trial. Johnny Washington will leave church service and go up to Junior, sit down and eat, and will get me to call back to the church to make sure that a bill was taken care of. Apostle Lawrence Bolger Jr., my big brother, cried down New York, from New York all the way to in New Jersey's Turnpike. Because he loved the ministry just that much. 
And I sat there and watched, Pastor, why did you do this? He said, Brother Cobb, you don't understand. When God gives you a blueprint to follow, you can't let people turn you. My God, my God. But from that, from that, I'm one of the best little black men you've ever seen with two pennies in my pocket. You can't tell me jack. <laughs> I don't need a million dollars. As long as I got my favor with God. Thank you. Get out of my message. Get out of my message. As long as we got favor with God. I watch these young girls grow up. And I'm telling them, stay with the blueprint of God. Don't let, excuse my language, don't let these Negroes turn you from God. And you know how they do that? You stop hating, you stop loving, and start hating. Are y'all with me tonight? So tonight, I'm talking to the church. The only one can stop you is you. He don't lay the flow path. We didn't get here by ourselves. I'm not saying it's because Stephanie is with me. I'm not saying it's because Andrew Jr. is with me. Because my kids just said to me, Daddy, you ain't got no sense. When we leave, when we get grown, you ain't got to worry about us. And I said to the other y'all, just don't understand. When you follow God's blueprint, tabernacle will never die. When I'm gone, Pastor John gone, it'll never die. You know I will never die? Stephanie's here. Angela's here. Junior's here. These kids who grow up, they know. They know. And to you out in the order today, little, little Bolter back there. We got to learn now to follow leadership, even though it hurt. Because y'all don't know what God told us. But in the end, you've seen the blessing what God has done. So tonight, to the church, we'll all say, I hope y'all are. But take a few minutes and examine yourself. And ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question. If I'm loving it like I used to love it. Soon someone says something to me ain't right, I'm ready to Tear the head off. There's a time I would come home and read my Bible, but now I'm watching TV. I'm on the phone. Ask yourself this question. When the last time I came down to the church, just got on my knees and prayed until I had lost myself. God, don't bless me. God just took my baby from me. Had my 54 years care of home. I woke one morning, she said, boy, why are you, why are you what's wrong with you? She said, my spirit with God and my remain down the street. Look up, you see me. Go down to the thing, you see my remain. But I'm living to live again. Ask yourself this question. If God will crack the sky right now, I'm talking to saved people now. I ain't talking to saved I'm talking to one that said, we love the Lord. God don't bless us. Ask yourself this question. If God will crack the sky right now. If God will crack the sky right now. Would you make it in? A lot of things that people say, we preach that were saying, I don't think that was saying you to hell. But what we send you here is disobedient. In this house, you will be subject to that man. Amen. I don't care what you wear outside. But when you come here, you will be subject to him. Am I right or wrong? Amen. The Bible tells be subject to those have rules. Am I right or wrong? Amen. So I'm not saying what you wear will put you in hell. But I'm saying your disobedience. Because ain't no witches going to hell. I'm talking to church folks. So I love God. Is I'm leaving the tabernacle? No. Is the tabernacle going to make me go to heaven? No. You know what going to make me go to heaven? Living right. Being a part of tabernacle. But I got to live right. Judah was a part of the 12 disciples. 
He didn't go down. So tonight, as you stand, check yourself. This is all the call. Check yourself. Ask yourself if God would call this guy right now. What would you spend like? You have one. Yes, we have. Over and over. Yes, we have, church. Stay with God, do pray. Be subject to leadership. Be open to God's word. Yes, we have. So let the power fall when your name is called. Prove your daughter's wrong. So fight this battle for me. And hear my unbelief. So I can tell my friend you. Come on and give the Lord another praise. We thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a word. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Thank God for amen. The back to holiness in this hour. We thank God for preaching men and women of God that continue to stand on the word of God and remind us of what we need to do and continue to do. Amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Seem as folks have forgotten, uh, or it seem as if they've just chosen to do, do do their own thing. But thanks be unto God for men and women of God that will continue to preach the word of God. Come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, I want everybody that can stand to your feet. Praise the Lord and receive. Amen. Amen. Our pastor and bishop, the Central District Bishop, the Bishop Melvin Jones Sr. as he come with remarks. But I want everybody to stand your feet and come on and put your hands together. Let's celebrate this man of God for many years of following God's blueprint. Come on! Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
See, you can do the hermeneutics, numenate, all that, outline. You can do all of that. That's right. But if you don't have the anointing, come on. Oh, that's what makes the difference. Come on. You see, the scripture says it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. If you have the book knowledge, that's wonderful if you invite the Lord Amen. in here. Amen. Everywhere I go. I used to hear the song say, uh, I go anywhere. Yes. As long as Jesus is there. Amen. If Jesus go with me, I'll go. Anywhere. anywhere. And don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's just say funny. I'm not, I'm not against education. I'm just saying, don't forget from what you came. Before you got to where you are, you was on your knees. Before what you I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I've been enjoying. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. Always good to see your wife. Pastor Lady Overton. God bless you. Pastor Graham. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. And everyone else, if I missed anyone. Elder Boja. Yes. God bless you. Amen. I kept looking. You, you, you masked me in the night. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I kept looking. It's all, it's all okay. I'm just, I couldn't, I like, I think it is. I'm, I'm going to go with all that. <laughs> but you know, good to see you. Anytime, amen. Thank God for another son of mine coming in. Brother D'Angelo. Amen. I tell you, this, this epidemic became a pandemic. It put something on the church. Yes, indeed. If not all the church, this church anyway. But we, we're making a comeback here. Amen. God <laughs> was the witness. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh we, 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 what, 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 we got, what we got going on? Oh, okay. <laughs> I always forget. But most of the time, anyway. King Charlie's dealing with Before they do that, probably Mazingo. 